Hi, this is Caleb Gedkin. Today I'll be giving you a list of 15 Bible verses about emotions. Let's pray before we get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your Holy Spirit and being Lord of our lives and Savior of our lives. Please show us what you want us to learn and apply it to our lives. If it's in your will, Heavenly Father, and I pray amen. Let's get started. Number one, a glad heart makes a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirit. Proverbs fifteen thirteen. Number two, a hot-tempered person starts fights. A cool-tempered person stops them. Proverbs fifteen eighteen. Number three, fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold it back. Proverbs twenty nine eleven. Number four, a time to cry and a time to laugh. A time to grieve and a time to dance. Ecclesiastes 3, 4. Number five, don't be afraid of those who want to kill your body. They cannot touch your soul. Fear only God who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Matthew 10, 28. Number six, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Romans eight twenty eight. Number seven, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Romans 12, 2. Number eight, don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Hate what is wrong. Hold tightly to what is good. Romans twelve nine. Number nine, be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep. Romans twelve fifteen. Number 10, we destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. 2 Corinthians 10, 5. Number 11, so I say, let the Holy Spirit guide your lives. Then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves. The sinful nature wants to do evil, which is just the opposite of what the Spirit wants. And the Spirit gives us desires that are opposite of what the sinful nature desires. These two forces are constantly fighting each other, so you are not free to carry out your good intentions. But when you are directed by the Spirit, you are not under obligation to the law of Moses. When you follow the desires of your sinful nature, the results are very clear. Sexual immorality, impurity, lustful pleasures, idolatry, sorcery, hostility, quarreling, jealousy, outbursts of anger, Selfish ambition, dissension, division, envy, drunkenness, wild parties, and other sins like these, let me tell you again, as I have before, that anyone living that sort of life will not inherit the kingdom of God, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have nailed the passions and desires of their sinful nature to his cross and crucified them there. Galatians 5, 16-24 Number 12 Therefore put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle you will still be standing firm. Ephesians six thirteen. Number 13 Don't worry about anything. Instead pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you'll experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Number 14. Don't let anyone capture you with empty philosophies and high-sounding nonsense that come from human thinking and from spiritual powers of this world, rather than from Christ. Colossians 2, 8. And number 15. We know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in his love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. 1 John 4.16 I hope these Bible verses were helpful, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think, learned, or any questions you have in the comment section below. And please be polite and respectful. Have a great day.